There's a new trend blowing up on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube shorts. Famous people talking as their younger selves. These AI-generated videos are going viral fast. From podcast clips to courtrooms, rap interviews to news segments, creators are remaking iconic moments and turning them into talking babies. And here's the crazy part, we're still early. This style works in any niche and people are pulling in millions of views with barely any effort. Why? Because this format hits on all fronts, emotionally, visually, and algorithmically. And the best part? These videos are easy to make and insanely profitable when done right. In this video, I'm breaking down the full blueprint, how it's done, the tools they use, and how you can tap into this global trend before it gets saturated. Let's dive in. First, let me show you how to perfectly clone a voice that sounds crispy, clean, and hella natural. Here's exactly how you do it. Since our baby podcasters today are I Show Speed and Mr. Beast, we're heading straight to YouTube to grab some podcast clips. For example, take this podcast featuring I Show Speed. Now in that video, scroll around until you find a part where Speed is speaking continuously with a lot of intonation. Tyreek Hill, you are scared. Put your, put, okay, listen. Tyreek Hill, all the stop. Put your career on a line. Then use your phone, screen record that part, and send it back to your computer. Now pull up to Premiere Pro, drop that screen recording on your timeline, and delete the visuals, because for now we're only here for the audio. Next, download the file as a MP3, head to Google, and type in Adobe Podcast. Then click this link, press Start Enhancing, and by uploading the audio file you just downloaded, the AI will start with enhancing the audio, removing all the background noise. All right, now that we've got a clean audio, it's time to actually clone the voice. And for this part, I'm using Fish Audio. Now in here, head over to the Voice Cloning tab. I'm making the model public so you don't have to go through all the extra steps, saving you all the hassle. Then upload a cover image, just something simple, and hit save. After that, you need to give your model a name. Then scroll down and upload the enhanced audio file. And look over here. It says that 30 seconds is already plenty enough for the AI to clone the voice kind of crazy to think about it. Once the file's in, click Create. It will take you to the final page where you can listen to the cloning result. Yo, so yesterday I was streaming, right? And boom, we hit like this crazy milestone, you know what I'm saying? Sounds just like him, so I'm good with it. And proceed by saving the model. So, the first thing you're going to do is go to YouTube and search for I Show Speed Podcast. Choose an episode you like. I picked this one. Then, scroll through the video and find the exact frame you want to export. To do this, we're going to use a Chrome extension. You can find it by going to the Chrome Web Store and searching for Screenshot YouTube. You'll see this extension. Install it, and now you can take screenshots directly from YouTube videos. Next, we're going to take a screenshot of Mr. Beast. So search for Mr. Beast Podcast on YouTube, and again, find the right frame you want to export. I chose this frame where Jimmy is laughing. Then, open Photoshop and use Generative Fill to expand the image. Create a new Photoshop file with the dimensions 1080 by 1920, which is the TikTok format. Place the screenshots into Photoshop and align them to the center so that the speaker is at eye level and fully visible. Now, select the top and bottom parts of the image and use generative fill to expand the photo vertically. Once that's done, export the image. Do the same process with the other photo. I already did it with the iShow Speed photo, now we're doing it with Mr. Beast. But since Mr. Beast is in a different background, I decided to recreate the background where I Show Speed was, so I can place Mr. Beast in that same setting. To do this, I removed I Show Speed from the photo using Generative Fill, and removed Jimmy from the photo using Photoshop's Remove Background feature. Then, I placed Jimmy into the scene where I Show Speed originally was. Export that image as well, and now you're ready for the next step. Now, go to ChatGPT and upload the photos. Simply ask ChatGPT. Can you turn me into a baby? Do this for both photos, and you'll get baby versions of the two characters. You can also upload the other photo and say, do this one too. To make the video even more fun, you can ask ChatGPT to place both characters into a 16 by 9 ratio image, looking at each other. Just say, can you place both characters in a 16 to 9 aspect ratio facing each other? Then you'll get an image like this. If the resolution still isn't perfect, open the image in Photoshop and use Generative Fill again to expand it to a proper 16x9 format. And that's it. Alright, so now you need to go back to Fish Audio, head to the search bar and type in the name of our models. Since I made them public, you should see them pop up instantly. 
or if you're feeling lazy, just hit the link in our bio. We drop both models there for you. Now let's cook up a topic for the podcast. Best way to do that? Stay up to date with whatever's popping on social media right now. Like, Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. just bagged his first two goals for Portugal. And then since Speed is a die-hard Ronaldo fanboy, and Mr. Beast literally met Ronaldo in a video to try to break the internet, it basically is a no-brainer that this type of content would be the perfect setup for our baby podcasters. So now click, use voice, drop in your script, and smash that create button. Boom! Your AI-generated podcast audio is ready to go. What you're going to do now is head over to Google and search for Hedra. Once you're on Hedra's website, go to the video section. There, you'll see a screen where you can upload a start frame, an audio file, and a prompt. First, upload the baby photo you want to use as the start frame. Then, upload the voiceover file you created using Fish Audio. Once that's done, paste the prompt you see on screen. I'll also add the full prompt in the video description so you can easily copy and paste it. After pasting the prompt into Hedra, click on Generate. Repeat the same steps for the second image. You'll now have two videos where Mr. Beast and I Show Speed are talking as babies, using the voiceovers from Fish Audio. Next, download both videos. Once downloaded, it's time to edit them in a program like CapCut or Premiere Pro. I chose to use Premiere Pro for this project. Here's a speed up of the editing process. I combined different clips from Instagram and YouTube to enhance the final video, rather than just showing the animated babies. I also added captions for clarity. At the beginning of the video, I included a title so viewers know what the podcast is about. And here is the final result. Yo, Speed, did you catch the news yesterday? Ronaldo's son just scored his first two goals for Portugal's under-15 team. They beat Croatia in that tournament. The legacy continues, man. I saw that highlight reel. Little Cristiano wearing a number seven jersey, just like his dad. And bro, he even did the famous celebration after that beautiful left-footed finish. That's in his DNA, Jimmy. Dude, imagine being 14 years old and already making headlines playing for your country. When I was 14, I was just making my first YouTube videos, not scoring international goals with scouts from Manchester United watching. Facts. And you know what's crazy? The Portugal Football Federation even posted about his first for Portugal on Instagram. The Ronaldo dynasty is real. His dad has 136 goals for Portugal, and now Junior's starting his own count. Now, we're going to upload the video to TikTok. Upload the video and choose a thumbnail frame. I placed a title at the beginning of my video, so I selected that frame as the thumbnail. Why? Because people on TikTok often search for specific information. And if your thumbnail clearly shows what the video is about, your click-through rate will go up. Next, write a short and clear description of what the video is about. Use a few emojis to make it more eye-catching. Don't forget to turn on the AI-generated content tag because your video was made using AI. Also, make sure high-quality uploads are enabled for the best result. Once that's done, add a few relevant hashtags and upload the video to your new TikTok account. I decided to call my account Goalmix. For the profile picture, I simply used Ideogram. Go to the search bar and type something like football logo and you'll see a variety of AI-generated images. Choose one you like, click Remix and you'll see the prompt that was used to create the image. Now, edit the prompt by changing the text inside the parentheses to your own brand name. In my case, I changed it to Goal Mix. Make sure the image weight is set to 50%. That way, you'll get logos that look just like the one I used. If you want to post the same video on other platforms, I highly recommend uploading it to YouTube Shorts as well. Not only can you earn through TikTok's Creator Rewards program, but YouTube Shorts gives you a second income stream too. We're almost at the end of the video, but before we wrap things up, I want to show you which niches you can apply this information to. One niche that's really blowing up right now is rappers transformed into babies. Another trending niche is taking famous movie scenes and reimagining them with babies. There's also a growing trend of turning popular TV shows into baby versions, and it's gaining a lot of traction. Another niche that's emerging is aging celebrities, imagining what they'd look like as older versions of themselves, or even flipping their gender. We're at the beginning of a brand new wave, and there's still a huge range of creative ideas you can explore using the tools and info I shared today. And if you're having trouble finding the links, resources, or prompts I mentioned, just go to aicentries.com and click on Courses. There you'll find the video, all related materials, and more info on the latest trends.
Once the video is live, the course will be available on the site. This was a quick demo on how to navigate the website. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments.